Hello everyone. Ever since I started this YouTube channel and everyone recognized how small I was riding a VMAX, a lot of people have often asked uh, how tall I am or how much I weigh and they're trying to get a gauge on whether or not they would be able to ride a VMAX or if they would be tall enough to ride a VMAX. Well, I am going to cover those things in this video. Okay, like I mentioned, a lot of people have often asked how tall I am to find out whether or not they would be able to ride the VMAX or not. So let me just go ahead and get my dimensions out of the way. I know I've mentioned it in other videos, kind of here and there, but I've never had a video strictly on the topic of whether or not uh, someone else uh, could ride the VMAX or what my exact dimensions are. So let me just go ahead up front, tell you I am five foot six, weigh about 130 pounds and my inseam is 30 inches. So if anything you take away, it's probably the inseam is the most important part. Now, as far as the motorcycle is concerned, the VMAX is 30 and a half inches high as far as the seat height is concerned. So when you match that up with your inseam, that should be a good gauge on whether or not you would be tall enough to ride the bike. Now, because it is a half inch, the seat height is a half inch taller than I am, that does present a little bit of a problem because I can clearly not flat foot the motorcycle. So I am going to go over some of the things and I'm actually going to show you what I look like while sitting on the bike. Uh, first and foremost, I want to let you know that I have not made any modifications to the motorcycle. Um, at one time I did consider possibly uh, having some work done on the seat before I actually got the bike actually. I entertained the idea of possibly uh, getting some of the foam removed from the seat. Uh, but after I got on the bike and uh, realized it, it wasn't that big of a deal, um, I decided against it. Not to mention, you've also heard me in another video talk about uh, the seat just isn't that soft for me, so I didn't feel like uh, pulling any more padding out of there. Uh, would, would be helpful at all, so it would make it even less comfortable. So I just left things as they are, so no modifications to the bike. The one thing I will add right now is that as far as the preloads are concerned, I have my preloads on the very softest setting as possible, both front and rear. Um, but as you will see, uh, even when I mount the motorcycle, it, the preloads, uh, even on the softest setting, uh, the bike really doesn't drop much when I sit on it because I just don't have enough weight. Uh, but I will mention here when I am riding two up uh, and adding that extra weight on the rear, uh, that does drop the bike down to where I can flat foot it. I'm not going to demonstrate that here today, uh, but it, it does make uh, basically holding the bike upright easier to some regard uh, when someone else is on the back of the motorcycle. Uh, but anyway, so moving on, I'm just going to jump on the motorcycle right now so you can have an understanding of what it looks like and how I have my feet planted on the ground all by myself. I have two cameras, so I'll have one kind of zooming in on my feet and my boots. Speaking of my boots, I want to let you know that too, that I do not have any type of special boot uh, that's taller than anything. These are just uh, normal Joe Rocket boots, uh, not designed to add extra length to the heel or anything like that. Uh, in fact, I'll leave a link to the description in all of my riding gear where I have another video explaining all that and the boots, I go over that as well. But again, nothing special there. Let me go ahead and get on the motorcycle and show you what it looks like. As you can see, my heels are up just a little bit. And when I come to a stop, uh, sometimes I'll just go one side and, and do this number, one or the other. Uh, but for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty much in control. So it's not that big of a deal. And actually, this motorcycle sits about one inch lower than my previous motorcycle. And even better yet, the next motorcycle that I plan to get, the Goldwing, sits about an inch lower than this one. So it will actually be easier on the Goldwing I can flat foot the goal wing with my boots on, uh, so that will not be an issue in the future. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to talk about how I do it. People are often 
often wondering whether or not uh, they think, uh, or whether or not they would be able to fit on it uh, like I do, and often ask, you know, what's, what's the deal? So as you can see, I've done nothing special. And again, like I said, the takeaway is really the inseam. Um, you can be taller than I am, but have a shorter inseam, or vice versa. So uh, it really all depends. Uh, but the best thing to do, uh, whether it's a VMAX or any motorcycle, is simply go sit on the motorcycle and see how it feels to you. And adjust those preloads, because on other motorcycles where maybe the, the tension isn't quite as tight, it may drop a little bit more for you, uh, particularly depending on how much you weigh as well. But anyway, that's all there was to this video. Not much to it, short and sweet. Hopefully this helped you out for those of you that uh, have been wondering. See you next time. <music>